I want my baby cat, baby cat, baby cat, baby cat. I want my baby cat, baby. <laughs> Man, it's crazy. I've been trying to do this video for about a month. Uh, I was recording, or well, I thought I was recording this video a month ago, and um, finished it. Was very, very, very satisfied with uh, the review of it. I thought it was a dynamite review. Only to find out when I went back to try to find it, I didn't hit record. I'm assuming that's what happened. But anyway, here we go again. Baby Cat from YSL, the La Bestia de Parfums collection. I think that's what it's called. Is it good? Let's find out. Hopefully, I'm recording. If not, I don't know how you guys will know. But anyway. Let's get into it. What's going on, guys? My name is Darren. I'm the bow tie fragrance guy. <laughs> I talk about primarily uh, fashion and fragrance on this channel. So kind of getting into both more more fragrance than fashion, but I think style tips are important because you got to look good if you're going to smell great. That's just my philosophy. So if you're into that, make sure you hit subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell icon as well. So anytime I upload a new video, you'll get notified. So guys, as you can see from the title, I'm going to be covering off on the very hyped baby cat. From the brand of YSL. Again, it's from their private collection. I think it's called Le Bestiaire de Parfums. And I'm uh, just going to give you guys my take on it. As I said, I thought I recorded this video about four weeks ago, but the footage could not be found. So here we go again. I'm going to run the intro, and when we come back, is it worth the hype? I'm going to give you guys my opinion as soon as we get back. So if you want to hear my thoughts, you know the routine. Keep it locked right here. Let's get it. Are you recording? The Bowtie Fragrance Guy. All right, guys, we are back. Thank you so much for keeping it locked in. Let's jump right into this video. Baby Cat from YSL. There are so many fragrances in this collection that I think are full bottle worthy. Of course, you have Tuxedo, um, which is, of course, the uh, patchouli, spicy patchouli fragrance. You have uh, Captain, which, in my humble opinion, it smells like, to sum it up, sweet potato pie, in my humble opinion. Trench, beautiful iris and fig fragrance. Rouge Velour, which is a nice rose fragrance. And uh, of course, there's a few others I could really talk about. But then there is this, Baby Cat. Hard to find now because it was discontinued. I don't know why, but this fragrance is really centered around the note of vanilla. Now I've told you guys here recently that I found, now that I've gotten this far into my uh, fragrance journey, vanilla is not one of my favorite notes. I would tell you any time of the day I would take more of a tonka bean uh, heavy uh, fragrance than vanilla to sweeten up uh, fragrances because those are two the two most commonly used notes uh, to provide a uh, kind of gourmand sweetness to fragrances, but I much prefer tonka bean. So vanilla is kind of on the outs with me right now, but this is vanilla done right. And again, I'm talking about Baby Cat from the brand of YSL. All right, this fragrance really is about, in my humble opinion, five notes. Black pepper, saffron, vanilla, suede, and a touch of cedar wood. Out of the gate, guys, is an explosion of fiery black pepper. You get black pepper, obviously, uh, vanilla is there immediately upon application as well. You get vanilla from start to finish because, again, this fragrance is really centered around the note of vanilla all right but out of the gate you're going to get hit with a lot of black pepper so it's really really spicy in the spicy in the opening and you're going to combine that with the vanilla now i have sprayed a test strip just kind of have to dry down here yeah yeah this is a very a very mature because i think it's bourbon vanilla it's a very mature uh, kind of creamy vanilla uh, that you get in this fragrance. After about five minutes, 
that spiciness really goes to the background. For the first five minutes, it is front and center. But after five minutes, it starts to go to the background and is replaced by saffron, all right? It's replaced by saffron and it gives a nice, soft, uh, leathery touch uh, to this fragrance. Now, for me personally, uh, vanilla and saffron work really well together in fragrances. As a matter of fact, if you look at a, a lot of fragrances that have leather, that they want to go for more of a sweeter, slightly sweeter touch, they combine it with vanilla. Sometimes when you get into a car and you smell that kind of new, uh, new leathery scent, if you get into a brand new car, that's the kind of leather that I pick up uh, with this fragrance. This smells phenomenal. Um, and Baby Cat, and like I said, it's a more mature vanilla. It is not that really, uh, in my humble opinion, cheap, really confectionery, sweet, uh, synthetic vanilla that you'll find in some fragrances. This is high quality vanilla. Not super sweet, a little bit more of a kind of creamy element uh, to the vanilla that they use in this fragrance, and I absolutely love it. Now, when we start to get into the far dry down of this fragrance, we're gonna get of course the suede that comes in uh, so again the black pepper has kind of faded all the way away at this point you still get uh, the leather there I mean the saffron what gives a leathery touch to it but now it really that being dominated I'm talking about like 20 25 minutes in by the vanilla and the suede and the suede gives this really warm almost sweet touch to this fragrance and again the suede vanilla combination here is really just to die for I mentioned cedar wood as a note as well, but to me the cedar wood is really uh, in the background, but it really serves to give a nice woody base to this fragrance that really helps to carry that vanilla and suede to uh, the duration of your experience with this fragrance. But in my humble opinion, this is a vanilla fragrance that I will give a 10 out of 10 to. I absolutely uh, love this fragrance. And now I want to tell you guys about the performance. All right guys, now performance is one of those things that when you start talking about high-end designer fragrances, comparatively speaking, on average, I'm not talking about in every situation. You're always gonna find anecdotal situations where something is not true, but it is true 90 to 85% of the time. This is one of those cases. When I compare a lot of high-end designer fragrances, they are more well done, more unique than the typical designer fragrance, and that's just is what it is. And a lot of times when you talk about higher quality ingredients, which is a lot of times one of the main differences, you start talking about performance. And that's one of the things to me that affects performance. So this performance that I got this fragrance, I get seven and a half, eight and a half hours uh, wearing this. All right. So it's kind of varied in between that time frame, seven and a half to eight and a half hours. Uh, the three times that I worn it out and about as my scent of the day when just kind of discovering the fragrance and trying it out. Now, again, to me, that's really acceptable because a lot of people, as I told you before, the most fragrances, you're going to get that four and a half to six and a half um, hours of performance. So this goes above the typical average uh, performance. I think this is going to be great for uh, really spring, uh, late spring nights, maybe date nights in the spring, but this is going to be the perfect fall winter fragrance. All right. I guess you can get away with wearing this uh, during the summertime, but I don't really like to wear fragrances that are heavily scented around notes like vanilla and suede during the summertime. That's just me. You can wear what you want when you want, but to me, this is the perfect um, fragrance for the cooler temperatures of the year. Like I said, uh, looking at the fall and winter time frame, uh, great for going out, really great for dressed up occasions as well. Um, like I said, it's very, very versatile. So I think it's extremely versatile in the cooler months of the year, pretty much anywhere from casual to a more dressed up or date night scenario. I could see myself rocking this fragrance and it will be perfect for all those occasions. So the versatility is definitely there and the performance is definitely there as well. So my overall assessment of this fragrance, as I said, for me, and I talked about vanilla fragrances, this is probably my favorite vanilla fragrance in my entire collection. That's how good this is. Easily a 10 out of 10 uh, vanilla fragrance for me. I love a lot of fragrances from this collection. Like I said, Tuxedo, Captain, Trench, but for me right now, this will be uh, moved to the number one spot. I love it that much. Now this fragrance again has been discontinued, so it's kind of hard to find and I think you'll be hard pressed to find it for anything less than 300 bucks right now, but that's not far from the original price. So it still hadn't gotten uh, extremely crazy with the prices. So if you can find it anywhere between 300 to 350, 360, I think that will still be a good value if you're interested in getting it. But at the end of the day, it comes highly recommended from your boy. But that's all I have for you guys today. Have you tried Baby Cat? 
from the brand of YSL. What's your thoughts on it? I would love to hear from you down in the comment section. And as always, I sincerely appreciate you guys' time and attention to these videos. I know you don't have to watch, but you do. And I sincerely appreciate that. Now, don't forget to take a few moments to like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you're sharing these videos out to some other folks out there that you think could use the information or find it entertaining. Because I'm your guy, Darian. I'm the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. I love to look good, and of course, I love to smell amazing. So until next time, keep looking good, keep smelling even better. I'll catch you on the flip side. Peace.